Welcome to another Control Hobbies video tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing how to create and use digital switches. Digital switches provide an on and off function on a receiver channel, eliminating the need for special electronic switching modules. For example, you can activate lights, relays, or any other device directly from the receiver with a switch or on-screen widgets. On the MZ16 or MZ32 radio, you can also control a free mix using a digital switch without needing mechanical switches or controls. With creativity, you can design a deck with different switching functions for controlling your navigation lights, sound system, fuel pumps, or any other function your model needs. This is accomplished by using widgets of different sizes and colors, making access and control of each function easy with a single tap. You can create up to 64 digital switches depending on your radio model. The digital switch menu is accessed from the special menu. Let us create a digital switch that turns an LED light on and off. We will use DS1 as our switch and will give it a name by tapping on the number column to bring up the toolbar. Tap the pencil icon to bring up the keyboard and enter lights. Next, we need to enable the digital switch by tapping the activate column and select the switch type by tapping on the mode column. There are three switch types we can select from. On and off, which is self-explanatory. Flash mode, which creates a momentary on and off switching function. And blinking, which alternates between on and off until switched off. For this tutorial, we will select the on and off switch mode. The delay column provides the ability to influence the behavior of the flash and blinking mode of the digital switch. Now that we have set up our first digital switch, we need to create a way to control it, which we do by mapping a widget to our digital switch. Press the menu key to go back to the main radio screen and use the arrow keys to find an empty widget deck. Tap and press on any available widget block to bring up the Add New Widget dialog and select Digital Switch. You will notice the first available switch, which we labeled Lights, is already selected, so tap on OK to confirm the selection. On the Widget Detail screen, you can select the size of the Digital Switch widget from three different sizes. Select the default, which is a 1 by 1 block size and tap OK. The digital switch widget is shown on the deck with the default off state. When you tap on it, it will change its state from off to on, but as we have not yet assigned a receiver channel to the digital switch widget, it will not perform any action. We need to map it to a receiver channel which we do in the RF set menu. It is essential to update your receivers to the latest software version to ensure proper operation. In this example, we have an 8-channel GR16 receiver bound to the radio. We will map channel 6 to be our switching channel. Tap on the RX column to access the channel mapping dialog. Look for channel 6 and tap on it for selection. Use the up arrow key to scroll through the channel numbers until you reach the digital switch channels. Select DS1, now named Lights, and tap on the checkbox to confirm. We need to designate this channel as a switching channel by tapping the channel type icon to change it to switch. Tap OK to confirm the changes. Now, we can test our switch by tapping on the switch widget. You can connect the LED light directly to your receiver, but before doing so you need to take notice of the following. You need to update your receiver to the latest software version. Digital switches are not compatible with the GR12L or 6-channel gyro receivers. Assigning a digital switching function to a channel is different for gyro and non-gyro receivers. The output voltage from the switching channel is between 3 and 3.3 volts. The maximum current drawn from the receiver may be sufficient for a single LED light, about 10 to 15 milliamperes. Channels designated as digital switches cannot operate a servo as no signal is available to control a servo other than a switching function. If you want to use additional LEDs or switching devices, you should consider using our LED current controllers or high current switching boards. In this example, we connected an LED directly to channel 6. Tapping on the switch widget will turn it on or off. You can experiment with changing the switch type from on off to flash or blink in the digital switch menu. 
You can also use a digital switch to control a mix to operate a channel or function on your radio. For example, you can create a digital switch that will momentarily operate a static element on your model, like a door, or cockpit canopy, or start an engine. Let us create a new digital switch named Starter. We select DS2 and name it Starter, and activate it. In the Mode column, we select Flash with a delay of 4 seconds. Note that mapping a digital switch to a mixer does not require any of the previous steps we did in the RF Set menu. Now we create a new switch widget by selecting the previously created starter switch. Note that you can change the widget size and color by tapping and pressing the widget for 2 seconds. Let us change it to a 2x2 two two widget with a blue background. Next, we must create a mixer that maps this digital switch to a free channel. From the function menu, select Free Mixers. Tap on the plus icon, which will create a new mixer. Tap on the From field and scroll down to locate the digital switches list and select Starter. On the To field, we can select any channel we wish to control, for example, Channel 5. You can test the digital switch by connecting for example, a servo to Channel 5 and watch its operation. Now that we have mapped a digital switch to a free mixer, you can use the same mixer with other functions on your radio. For example, to play a voice, start the MP3 player or combine it with a logical switch and much more. Just use your imagination. Let us assign the previously created digital switch to an additional function. We will use the digital switch to create a control notice telling us the engine is started. From the special menu, select the control notice menu. Tap on the plus sign to create a new voice notice. Tap on the control field and select the mixer switch icon. Select the free mixer entry and tap on OK. Now we need to pick a voice to activate when the digital switch is pressed, so tap on the voice field. Select the 02 function folder and select the first entry, called Engine Master. Tap on the check icon and then the exit icon to confirm and exit this menu. By tapping the item field, you can add a suffix notice that announces the switch state. Scroll down until you find the start slash stop entry. Now you have created a digital switch that operates channel 5 and provides a voice notice all in one go. This concludes the digital switches tutorial. We appreciate your time watching this video. You can find additional product support on our website. We recommend subscribing to our channel to receive notifications of new tutorials, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us.